Welcome back. We are here. It's Saturday. We got some prize picks plays for you. We're going to do just prize picks today. Yesterday, we gave you our spreads. Today, we're giving you our props. Yeah, let's go. I'm excited. Ready to get into it. Feel good about all my plays today. <sighs> I don't want to lie. I don't feel good. I feel great. I feel fucking great about all there my plays. Go. Let's go. That's the all energy right. we need. All right. I'll start us off because that's how good I feel. All right. This is a simple one. I got Darnell Mooney more than 43 and a half receiving yards and Aaron Jones more than 65 and a half rushing yards. Look, Darnell Mooney has crushed this every single week and Justin Fields has been playing better every single week. So in order for Darnell Mooney to get these receiving yards, Justin Fields has to be playing well, which he has been. So uh, that's why I just really like this line. I don't think Chase Claypool is going to really be uh, an impact yet, maybe another week. So staying away from anything in the Claypool range. And I also don't think it really affects Mooney in a negative way. So that's one. Two. Aaron Jones more. Look, it's the Detroit Lions. Everybody, everybody is is scoring against the Detroit Lions. Everybody in the running back area is putting up points. They're putting up yards. Miles Sanders went for 96. Uh, Dalvin Cook went for 96. Rashad Penny went for 150. Ramondre Stevenson went for 160. Zeke went for 57, and he sucks. Tony Pollard went for 83. You see where I'm going with this? Aaron Jones owns the Lions. Uh, This should be an absolute smash. And Aaron Rodgers isn't the guy that he once was where, like, you can just depend on Aaron Rodgers to throw for 300 yards. I don't think he does that anymore. So they're going to lean on the run game a little bit. And Aaron Jones is going to kind of be the guy that they lean on. So more than 65 and a half rushing yards. Lock it up. I like it. Mike Breen agrees with you. So uh, I'm going to stick with this game. Lions Packers took the over of 49 and a half in the game total. think there's going to be a lot of points scored. So I like Jared Goff. To go over 240 passing yards. Goff at home has gone over this line. Three out of four home games that they've had so far. Only time he hasn't gone over this is against Philly. Philly's got a good defense. Way better than the Green Bay Packers. Last week against Miami goes for 321. A couple weeks ago against Seattle, 378. 277 against Minnesota. At home, 11 touchdowns. Only two picks. Green Bay doesn't generate a lot of pressure. Jared Goff with a clean pocket and some time. I think crushes this total of passing yards and Packers, like you said, they're going to be able to run up the score on the Lions at least. So this should be a competitive game, a lot of back and forth. So Jared Goff, look for him to have a good game. Another quarterback to have a good game. We mentioned him a little bit, but Justin Fields to have over 17 and a half fantasy points. These last two weeks, he's crushed it. He's actually had like three good weeks in a row. I mean, Dallas, he throws up 26 fantasy points against New England, 25 against Washington, 19. And look, Miami's defense, nothing special. They let up 20 fantasy points to Jared Goff. They let up like 19 fantasy points to fucking Kenny Pickett. They've fallen off the map a little bit, Miami, defensively. Another competitive game, high scoring. Also like the over in this one, Justin Fields, he can get it done through the air a little bit, but mostly through the ground is where a lot of his fantasy points are going to come. I really like him to get a rushing touchdown in this one which is going to help the fantasy points. So Jared Goff, over 240 passing yards. Justin Field, over 17.5 fantasy points. Lock it up. Best play on the slate. Take it away, Mike. All right, nice. Nice nice slip. I uh, No objections. I'll let you know when I have an objection. All right. All right, my second one. It's a two-square. We got Trevor Lawrence, more than 15 fantasy points. It's simple. Look. The Raiders, they give up the most fantasy points to quarterbacks this year. Just going down the line, first of all, the line is 15. Not a single quarterback that has went up against the Raiders this year has gone for less than 15. The closest to it was last week with Andy Dalton, 17.2 points. So even Andy Dalton's out here getting 15 points against the Raiders. Trevor Lawrence, look, if you want to be a star quarterback in the NFL, you got to show me something against the Raiders this weekend. I need to see it. Everyone else has done it. Fucking Davis Mills put up 20. Like Russell Wilson, who's been terrible, terrible, put up 26. Tannehill put up 20. Like, you got to do it, Trevor. You got to do it. So that's why we're going with that. Trevor, he makes me a little scared. I mean, he has some ups, and his downs are so fucking down. Down sure. bad tremendously. But, you know, I, I feel like I've been burned so many times by going like Trevor Lawrence, 14 fancy points, 15 fancy points. He doesn't hit it. But against the Raiders. It's a career-defining game. Career. For me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, and I'm going to pair that with Kirk Cousins, more than 20 and a half 
pass completions. I, I don't know how great I feel about this one. This is more of just like I looked at the, the analytics to it, and like he just crushes this line every week. The only week he didn't hit it, he threw for 20 completions, so it was just the hook that got him. So, I mean, last week he went for 24 against Arizona, 20 against Miami, where the hook, you know, got him. But then 32, 25, 24. Like, it's not even like he's just beating this line, like, by one, you know, completion. He's clearing it by three or four almost every single week. And the Vikings are a good team. They just got TJ Hawkinson. Maybe that's just a couple extra targets in there, a couple extra completions that he wouldn't have had. I don't know. But I just really like the uh, the line here, 20 and a half. I feel like the the more than here is the uh, is the way to go. So that's why I'm pairing that together. Two quarterbacks, using, two squares. Using some analytics now, are we? Got to. You got to do it a little gotta bit. Got to sprinkle in some analytics sometimes. Yeah. So I'm going to go to another two square. I got a couple of tight ends for you. I'm staying with really similar games because these are the games I feel good about. I feel like there's going to be a lot of points scored. First guy up, Cole Komet more than five fantasy points. I know Cole Komet has been an absolute stinker this year, an absolute dud, an absolute fantasy lineup buster. You don't want him even on your bench. But five fantasy points in a full PPR system is so goddamn low. Look, only once has Miami stopped the tight end from going over this line. Hawkinson, Fryermuth, Irv Smith, Hayden Hurst, Dawson Knox, Johnu Smith, everybody is getting five points, full PPR. Like we said, Justin uh, Justin Fields turning a little bit of a corner. Cole Komet, he's like their second, maybe third target now with Chase Claypool, but he's not really involved in the offense yet. Five fantasy points. Cole Komet, look at me. Five. I need it from you. This is an easy line. You should be able to get more than that. And then I'm going to pair with the other tight end uh, for Green Bay, Robert Tunyon. Or than 31 and a half receiving yards. The Lions have yet to stop a tight end from going over this number. We got Kaseki, Hunter Henry, Dalton Schultz, Will Disley, Irv Smith. Alan Lazard may be out. So Robert Tunyon might be the only trusted receiver that Aaron Rodgers has nowadays. And in a in a game with a lot of points scored, he's going to have to look Tunyon's way. Tunyon 35 against Buffalo, only 30 against Washington, but he had 90 against the Jets. You know, it's not like all signs are pointing to where these are these are smash plays, but this is more of a gut feeling. I love this play. It's I think this is a smash play. It's a gut. It's a smash. It's a just every analytical. I, this is one of my favorites of the week. I don't have it because Robbie I, T. I, I didn't want to. Yeah, I didn't want to collab. Yeah, you know? I feel not, you. not that that's a, you know. I don't want to. You know what I'm saying? You just don't want to cramp on my style. Yeah, and no, I just didn't want to be giving out the same as you. You know, like we that's did fair. that last week. We did that with the Zeke pick the one week, and we both that's true. Fucking disaster. You had a sacrifice taking this line so I could get it right. That's right. That's what I do I for the show. That. That's what I do for you. That's what I do for you. Awesome. All right, that's all I got for that one. All right, I got my last one. It's a five square. I'm going to read it quick, basically just going to run through it. Uh, no real analysis. But all this is, there's three running backs who I like, think they're going to have really good this days. This is the ultimate animal instinct play. Yes, yeah, I got three running backs I think are going to have great days and two quarterbacks I think are going to have great days, so I paired them all. I got Travis Etienne, more than 80 and a half rushing yards. Uh, Las Vegas, not very good against the run. So, love that. Josh Jacobs, more than 77 and a half rushing yards. On the other side of the ball, Jacksonville hasn't been very good at stopping the run. And Jacobs uh, is probably the best player on the team right now. Aaron Jones, more than 65 and a half rushing yards. I explained it earlier. I just love him against Detroit. Then we get into the quarterbacks. Tom Brady, more than 272 and a half passing yards. It's Tom Brady. I'm not going to stop betting him just because he's been having bad weeks. It's Tom Brady. I'm going to keep doing it until he's dead. Yep. Until he's dead or not in the NFL. And then uh, another great quarterback who I hate, Patrick Mahomes, more than 280 and a half passing yards. Tennessee Titans, their uh, run defense is their strength, not their pass defense. I don't know if that's true, but Pat Mahomes should throw for more than 280 Pat and a half. Pat Mahomes can light anybody up. Exactly. And I believe that he, um, the last time they played the Titans, didn't he play not well? So he wants to probably go out there and show like, hey, I can beat the Titans. You have to de- define not well. Look Patrick that. Mahomes' standards of not well is still... Better than a lot of people's very good. Titans beat Chiefs 27-3. 27-3? Might be. This might be an old article. That's got to be super old. There's no chance. <laughs> There's no chance the Chiefs have only thrown up three points in the Pat Mahomes era. All right. Moving on. All right. I got one more play for you. A two square, a couple of wide receivers. This is what I call the do play. And you'll see what I mean by that. First up, we got Devon a. Adams. Over 78 and a half receiving yards. Raiders, who scored zero points last week against the New Orleans Saints, are due. It's going to be a close game, only a one point spread, uh, about a 48 point total. So, should be a lot of back and forth. 
Nice amount of points scored. Adams, we know he can get over this number. Really, it's just, it's down because he's had some horrendous, terrible games before, but not today. Jacksonville, they're mediocre against the pass and wide receivers. This is just a get-right game for Devon Adams and the rest of the Raiders' offense. And then I'm going to pair that with Terry McLaurin to have more than 65 and a half receiving yards. Minnesota has led up the fourth most fantasy points of wide receivers. Heineke funnels his throws to Terry. Terry's consuming all the targets. Uh, you know, no Jahan Dotson. Curtis Samuel kind of taking a step back. And Terry's last two games, he's got 113 against Indy, 73 against Green Bay. This is a he's due type of play. Two great stud receivers going over their totals. It never fails. And that's all I got for you. I like the do play. I mean, look, guys that like, you know, you think that there's a there's a there's a play there because the line is probably a little lower than it should be because they haven't been exceeding expectations. Exactly. Mm-hmm. That's good. By the way, last time Chiefs Titans played, score 27-3. No way. Titans. Holy shit. Yeah. I Seems like fake news. I don't know. I still don't went know if for, I believe you. He went for and 206 yards, no touchdowns. When was that? Last year? Last season. Last, last year. season. Holy shit. Week, um, hold on. Last year, week seven. Dang. They got fucking clapped up. I feel clapped. like uh, I feel like the score is probably going to be reversed this time around. That's what that's. I knew there was something there. I just didn't, you know, do the proper research before the show. I did right. it in the show. Right, but right, right. I was saying is I think Pat Mahomes is feeling like, yo, you guys fucking clapped us up last time. That ain't gonna happen again. All right, it's I'm putting, I'm dropping three hundo. Easy, I'm putting three hundo up on you. All right, so those are all the plays we have for prize picks today. Uh, make sure if you're a first-time listener, first-time watcher, first-time viewer, please hit that uh, subscribe button and uh, like button. Yes, but if you are a first-time user of prize picks, make sure you go download that app. Use promo code BDGE. You get a 100% deposit match bonus for up to $100. Whatever you throw in is what you get back. And whatever you throw into these plays is what you'll get back. Well, you should get more. You should get more. You should get more back. If That's true. If you win, you should get more back. Right. You'll yeah. get 3x, maybe 10x. Maybe 10x years. if you take my fucking fire. Exactly. Yeah, that's right, baby. All righty. We'll see you. I don't know when we'll see you, but we'll see you fucking later. Grrr.